hello so today I'm going to show you how you can make this end scale signal by yourself with just few components so here are the parts we need to get started we will need these 3d printed parts you will get the links below in the description for the download then we also need this uh, injection nib we will need uh, uh, the leds then we need a resistor then we will also need some wire very thin wire from the transformer this is 1.2 mm diameter injection make sure you file the nib of injection then we'll take both red and green leds and we will use clay as a helping hand to fix them so we can easily solder them with the wire now take the enamel wire from any of the transformers a very small tiny transformer you will find in the power supplies and this must be a thinner wire because it needs to go through the injection these animal wires have protective coating on them so we will need to remove that coating by just scrubbing the surface the scratching the surface of the wire with any screwdriver or cutter or any sharp object it should look shiny and reflective then take some flux and try to tin the wire with your solder make sure it looks silver color once that's done just put the wire on the ends of the SMD LEDs also I want to mention that the LEDs you put in here needs to be put in opposite direction you will see the diagram coming in here that will better explain how to connect them the schematic diagram will show here to show you how the connection needs to be made now once we solder both the ends of the LEDs use clay or anything that helps you to solder it properly and now here you can see that we are testing the LEDs and they are working fine we have connected them in reverse now once the soldering is done we need to insert the wires from the back cover of the signal and flush the LEDs inside the socket there inside the gap not socket
take the base of signal and first put it in there in the injection then take this other part and insert it there once these two parts are in then we can insert our wires through the injection and to the other side use super glue to stick it all together also put steps super glue will take some time and uh, be careful because when I did this a little bit of super glue stuck on my finger as you can see it, it looks like the white color on my finger that's the super glue which basically came from within the injection because I put excess glue there so don't do that uh, and also I would recommend using gloves or anything protective from, from that glue because it's very hard to remove that glue after the after it is dried basically dries very fast so I'm trying to fix stuff here because sometimes the stuff the parts that I'm sticking may come come down they may not stick that properly so I had to try it again and again just to make sure that it is stuck there properly once it is confirmed that this is all now stuck together we I think also have one part which is the I think small a box I would say that that is there near the bottom of the the base of the signal maybe it's just it's a circuit box or whatever but yeah I think it's a small box for maybe connections or something like that so once we have all these connections and all the parts to stuck together you can see now how it looks it already looks pretty nice and detailed not just a it just doesn't look like a a pole is there and then just the signal but it looks a little bit de detailed so now for the coloring and uh, whether I would like to use this uh, acrylic paint with this matte acrylic base I'll take little bit of silver this acrylic color comes as a powder so I have to mix it with the base to make it liquid I'll take a little bit of silver color and then put the base material to mix it and make a silver color. Now try to apply the color on the main pole, main rod. then also on the support for the ladder steps what I did is I just left the signal itself black and also the ladder 
that's how I wanted it to look and that's what I have seen signals look like so if you if you like to give them silver color as well that's fine you can do that so just do based on what you observed from the railway tracks just do what you have observed uh, while traveling in railways and uh, observing the surroundings that way you have a better idea of how the signal needs to look so I hope you, you must have learned something today and um, you will also try to do your own signal and scale signal by yourself because it's a lot of fun to do this and uh, it's very satisfactory when you it gives you satisfaction when you are complete with your signal and have fun doing your signals and we'll see you next time in the next video bye